Yo, hurry up with your special snack. I'm about to start the movie. I hope you're ready. This is the best snack ever. All right, let's see it. This is my uncle's famous roly-poly recipe. It's rolled up bologna stuffed with mayo. Nah, I'm not eating that. Why not? I eat your snacks all the time. Yeah, because I have self-respect and there's way better snacks. Uh, like what? Like these chamoy candies or dulces enchilados. Those look moldy. What are you talking about? This is just American candy covered in chamoy. Try one. Uh, I'm not gonna try one unless you have one of my roly polies. Do I have to? Yes, and if I don't like your snack, you're gonna have to eat mine for an entire week. Deal. Let me try one. I know I'm gonna regret this. So, what do you think? It's delicious, tasty, amazing? It's not for me. You can have the rest. Well, well, should I try one of your chamois snacks? Yeah. Here, I'm about to change your life. Yeah, whatever you say. Ooh, wait a minute. That's actually really good. Like, really good. <laughs> Yo, relax. We're supposed to share those. I'm sorry, but this is incredible. I didn't know you can make candy taste better. <laughs> chamois can make anything better. Chamoy? What is that? I'm glad you asked. Follow me. Why can't he just tell me here? Why are we in the garage? Well, you wanted to know more about chamoy, didn't you? Yeah, but why are we by the grill? What I'm about to show you is top secret. And you can't tell anyone. Promise? Okay, promise. I present to you chamoy. Why do you keep a bottle of chamoy in the barbecue? Yo, you just promised that you wouldn't tell anyone. You're supposed to keep it to yourself. And now you told the whole world. There's no one here. There's no one here, but you still have all the subscribers that watch our videos. It's fine. Apparently 90% of our viewers aren't even subscribed. Yeah, that's true. Only the real ones are subscribed. Are you subscribed? Anyway, what else is in here? No, Chris, don't look in there. What is that doing in here? I can explain. I swear, I was just going through some tough times and I, I was just, you know, I saw it there, so I just took it, but I was just borrowing it. I swear I was not trying to steal it. Steal it? Why aren't you sharing it? W what do you mean? Sharing the mayonnaise. You know how much I love it. Why would you hide it? Wait, you're not mad about the envelope? Why would I be? Did you see what it says? Uh, no, I can't read. Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. Sorry I didn't share the mail, but I'll make sure I share it next time. Okay, thanks. Uh, anyway, this is chamoy. It's kind of made of pickled fruits like apricots, prunes, plums, or mangoes. It also has hibiscus flowers, dried chilies, and lime juice. Ooh, I did taste a little bit of the spice. Chamoy is salty, sweet, sour, and spicy. It's the perfect condiment. So the candies you gave me just had that sauce on it? Yup. Ooh, it did make the candies taste better. I don't think I could ever have candy without chamoy again. Honestly, same. My life changed for the better when I first tried it. So is it just Mexicans that make this? Chamoy is associated with Mexican cuisine, but its actual origins aren't very clear. Some say it originated from Chinese cuisine, while others say it came from a Japanese immigrant in Mexico that came up with it. Whoa, so it's been eaten for many years. Yup, this is a chamoy in sauce form, but also comes as a paste and a powder. Can I have some of the sauce? Of course. Mm. Mm. I have to be careful. I'm gonna eat my fingers from how delicious it is. <laughs> if you like it on your fingers, you're gonna love it on the next thing I show you. Follow me. Are we gonna put chamoy on all this fruit? Yup, and you won't want your fruit any other way. Well, chamoy those puppies up. I'm ready. But before we do that, try this. What's that? Just try it. Oh, wow. It's salty and sour and <coughs> a little bit spicy. Is this a powdered chamoy you were talking about? Yeah, it's good, huh? You could put this on anything, it'll taste amazing. Mm, so good, I could eat it by itself. Try it with fruit. <sighs> mm, mm. Now this is how fruit should be eaten. It's like an explosion of flavor in my mouth. <laughs> Do you want to get crazy? What do you mean? Double chamoy. <sighs> Is this even legal? I don't care. Legal or not, I'm eating it. Mm. So bomb. Mm. Mm. 
Where has chamoy been my entire life? I love it. And we're just getting started. You can also put chamoy on the rim of your cup to make your drink way better. How? This chamoy paste is rim dip. You put the chamoy goodness on the rim of your cup. Woo! And then you add your drink of choice and boom, you're good to go. Mm. Mm. I never knew I needed this. Ramon, I'm actually mad at you. What? Why? Out of all the years that I've known you, you're barely having me try this right now? I mean, I could have had this years ago. But you never asked. I never ask when you have me try stuff. I just do. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I still have some more chamoy snacks you can try. Like what? This is a chamoy paleta. Try it. If this is good, I forgive you. Okay, I forgive you. So what do you think? I was a bit hesitant because the chamoy's frozen, but <laughs> it's actually good in every form it comes. I'm glad you liked it because I also have this. Whoa. What's that? This is a chamoy niada. It's a raspado made out of chamoy. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Enough talking, I wanna try it. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. Mm. It's everything I thought it would be. It's happiness in a cup. Oh my God, I don't know what it is about chamoy, mm. but it makes me smile. <laughs> oh, it's magical. Chamoy is great by itself, but it's even better when it's paired with literally anything. Do you have any more chamoy snacks? Well, I do have one more snack. Can I try it? Here you go. It's all yours. Ew, that looks disgusting. Don't knock it till you try it. It's a chamoy pickle. Well, I mean, everything else has tastes good, so I mean, this probably tastes good. Let's try. Hmm. Hmm. So, what do you think? You know. It's not that bad. The chamoy and pickle actually go really good together. Like mayo and bologna. <laughs> I love it. And you just tried it by itself. You haven't tried the chamoy pickle the proper way. What's the proper way? First, you take the top off and you clean the inside. The better you clean, the more stuff fits in it. What are you gonna put inside? Just wait and see. Before we put anything on the inside, we wrap it with the fruit roll up. Like this. Nice and snug. Wow. And once it's all wrapped up, it's time for the salsa getty. Oh, I remember that. That tastes so delicious. And we're just stacking flavors, baby. Because up next, I'm adding takis. Ooh, this is gonna give it that crunch. Oh no, that pickle is a real deal. Takis fuego is really spicy. And we're not done yet because I'm also adding the chamoy powder. Oh wow. I have a feeling this is gonna be insane. Insane times two. Don't forget about the saucy chamoy. Oh, be generous. <laughs> and there you have it. The chamoy pickle of the gods. Try it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of intimidated. <laughs> Just try it. Mm. Mm. The flavors are delicious, but I think it's just too much for me. It's gonna hurt my stomach. Chamoy is good though. <laughs> I mean, chamoy is always good, even with pickles. I wanna try chamoy on roly polies. That'll make them 10 times better. Oh, no, I don't know about all that. Come on, you said chamoy makes everything taste better. I did, but I don't really wanna eat another roly poly again. Come on, you know you want to. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. So, you know what? It's not that bad. Oh, I gotta go. He's messing with me. <laughs> Ramon, you're lying. These are delicious. Chamoy roly polies are gonna be the next best thing. Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> 